Sometimes you need to feel the pain and sting of defeat to activate the real passion and purpose inside of you. I think we should show them right now. I believe anything is possible, right? I live in the world of possibility. And I also believe that anything we can accomplish anything with our two hands and just putting in the work with our two hands. And also, you hear this often, but it's really, really true. You gotta find something. If you love what you do and find and be passionate about what you do and find something that you can be passionate like it really helps. You know, it gives you that motivation when you wake up in the morning. Here we are, a new year, another opportunity. An opportunity of a lifetime. This is the year that we said, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna be stronger instead of fearful. This is my year! Today you had an opportunity to chart a new path. So do me a favor. Step into your new you. Step into your new year because success is waiting for you. And the thing you gotta ask yourself is, Am I going to repeat my history or will I blaze a new trail? Sometimes you need to go find a mirror and tell yourself with tears in your eyes, I am the problem. Once we stop accusing everybody else for our inconsistency and our lack of execution, all of a sudden the world opens up. Motivation has an expiration date. And when motivation dies, discipline must take its place. Because when motivation dies, you are left talking and not doing. The only way you're gonna do is if discipline takes the place of your motivation. This is your year. If you're thinking about the new year, new you mentality, this is not the time to hold on to those false promises. Because you have got to recognize that every year is moving on. And you got to learn how to adapt to every situation that you may embark on. Too many times you have said, I'm gonna do better, I'm gonna change. But have you really changed? Have you done better with your life? Have you continued down that path of making the, the same mistakes and the same excuses day in and day out. Are you willing to use what you've got to get what you want? Let this be the year of no regrets. Let this be the year that you experience authentic happiness. What if you changed your idea of selfish and started doing more of what feels good to you? Don't let negative people disrupt your peace because your peace is priceless. You will cry. There's some stuff that will happen in your life that will make you cry. It's okay. It's a part of the deal. If you can't handle pain, you don't want success. Some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop. And what I'm here to tell you is, if you tell that thing, I'm here just like you here, and I promise you, I ain't leaving without the degree. I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave without that dream. I will not leave this university until I'm successful. I will not leave this job. I will not leave this client. I will not leave this opportunity. Until I get it, and you're gonna have to fight and fight and fight and fight. And most of you won't be successful, not because you can't do it, but you can't outlast your old you to get to your new you. You must have patience and engage in consistent action. Look at your belief system every single day and stick with it. Don't rush the process, trust the process. Don't rush the process, trust the process. Don't rush the process, trust the process. Everybody dreams of greatness. Everybody wants to be great. Everybody dreams of greatness, wishes to be great, talks about great, idolize the great. Everybody wants to be great. 
but only a few when that moment presents itself. Only a few when that time has come. Only a few are willing to step up to the moment and actually execute. When you're dealing with another human being, it's not how tall he is. When you're dealing with another human being, it's not how big he is. When you're dealing with another human being, it's not how strong he is. At the end of the day, it comes down to will. The dream come when you push. Everybody about give you no cookies and ice cream. Push. It's alive. It's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it. You eat and sleep it every day. When people talk to you, tell them, this is what I'm looking so push. Just push past the fight. Push. Don't quit. Don't get Push. Push your way to success. Your peace sparks your creativity. Your peace attracts goodness and abundance into your life. So don't give an outsider the power to determine your level of peace and happiness. Let this be the year that you make bold and life-changing decisions. Sometimes in order to grow, you've got to be willing to let go of your desire for comfort. At some point, you have to ask yourself, am I holding on to this because it's making me happy, because it's fulfilling, or am I holding on to this because it's familiar and I'm afraid of the unknown? Today, I'm challenging you to look at your patterns, your way of thinking, and who you surrounded yourself with. I'm willing to bet you will find a couple of habits, beliefs, thought patterns and situations that are not aligned with the vision that you have for your life. So what can I count on you to do? What can I count on you to achieve? What hurdle can I count on you to jump over? Listen, your future self is waiting for you to show up and max out every opportunity that comes your way. Because when you make it to the top, you're going to appreciate the fact that you didn't quit. You come too far to go back. Self-pity is not a strategy. No, you have to commit to doing something that will get you one step closer to where you desire to be. Nothing will change if you are not willing to change. Success doesn't happen overnight. You have to plan for it. You have to work for it. You have to fight for it. You have to put in some sweat equity. You have to be willing to make some sacrifices. And you can't be distracted by your results or your lack of results. Of course you want success to happen quickly. We all do. But what most people don't realize is that true success requires intention and consistency. Consistency.